A 23-year-old American activist stands in front of an Israeli bulldozer in Gaza, March 16, 2003. The bulldozer drives over her, crushing her to death. These are the facts. Corrie, along with colleagues from International Solidarity Movement, was trying to prevent Israel from bulldozing homes in Rafa. She paid the ultimate price. An Israeli investigation took one month and found no Israeli soldier was to blame, stating the armoured bulldozer crew involved in the incident did not see Miss Corrie, who was standing behind the mound of earth and was unable to see her or hear her voice. But the military has not identified the driver of the bulldozer or made their investigation available to the U.S. government. Cindy and Craig Corey have waited seven years to find out what happened to their daughter and to bring Israel to account. They're taking the defense ministry to court in a civil suit. It appears to me the more that we found out, the more likely that there was, uh, that the, the, the killing was uh, intentional or at least incredibly reckless. And as a former soldier, I was even in charge of bulldozers in Vietnam. They weren't these big, heavy uh, D9s with armor on them, and I was out in the jungle. But you're responsible to know what's in front of that blade, and I believe they did. I will. Rachel's parents are proud of what their daughter did, recalling how important it was to her to try and help Palestinian families in Gaza. There are just countless ways in which these children are experiencing incredibly difficult things and I want to support them. She deserves the attention that she's receiving in this case. Um, every human being who is assaulted and, and whose life is taken in this way deserves some accountability, some explanation for why this happened, particularly when it's done by a military and in this case by a military that is supported by, my, by me, by my tax dollars. In the days after her death, there was a memorial march for Rachel Corey in Gaza. She was a young person who came to Gaza to express sympathy with the people of Gaza and the Palestinian people uh, and the international humanity are uh, looking to the memory of Rachel Corey as a symbol of person, a young person who was killed. I can't understand. Rachel's parents say they hope the court case will determine whether the killing was intentional and who should be held accountable. It's expected to last several months. Paula Hancock's CNN Haifa Israel.